Hello, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. You can also leave a comment. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a banana muffin. So basically it's just banana bread instead of loaf, it's in a muffin. Muffin cup. So we have this I defrosted my 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 frozen bananas. They are like the overripe bananas I freeze them on. So that's my bananas. All you have to do is to peel them. Just like that. Normally you use only like four or five large bananas. But personally, I like it when there's lots of bananas in it. It's, it's the way I like it. So this one here is like um, seven bananas. Some, some people use only three, but I usually use way more because I love bananas. And normally, in the province where I came from, we have lots and lots of bananas in the yard, so. I just learned to bake this one here in Canada because when, because when, when I was growing up, we don't have oven. So here is the bananas. So all you have to do if you have a masher like this, you just have basically mashed them. So it's just like that. That's our mashed bananas. Just add a canola oil or any vegetable. I usually just use vegetable oil. So one fourth cup. So I have this So you will have. Brown sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, so we already mix the sugar, the white and the brown one. Now we can add the, the eggs. So these are the two, you have to be the two large eggs. Vanilla. This is one tablespoon vanilla. And one fourth cup of buttermilk. So now I don't have buttermilk in my kitchen because we barely use them and you can't buy them for like a small amount. You have to buy the big pack. So what I did is I made a replacement to it. So this is like one fourth cup of whole milk. And then you just add one one fourth uh, tablespoon of uh, white vinegar. So that's the replacement for for um, 
butter milk if you don't have butter milk on hand. But if you do, then you can just use one fourth, one fourth cup. That's the butter milk. We have to add our melted butter milk. One fourth cup of melted butter. Okay. Just have to mix there. So now we mix all of our dry ingredients. So this is two cups of flour. You just have to add uh, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and then one half teaspoon of salt. And then you just have to whisk it. Okay, now that it's all whisked, what you're gonna do is you just have to fold your with ingredients into the the dry one. So I just have to put them all together. mixer for this one I just use the spatula to to mix them all together also when you're mixing this one don't over mix because it if you do over mix this one um, I find it that if your muffin is cold off already they're kind of hard it's not hard but a little bit on the hard side okay so all done so this is how it looks like now So that this is our butter. So I have this muffin liner. So all I have to do. But you can also use this, the 12 ones, the one that I can accommodate 12. So what I normally do is I use this spray, like an oil spray, so that the muffin will not stick into the, the, the paper liner. So I spray. I have this big ice cream scooper, so I use this one to scoop the butter into the muffin. This muffin, you can actually, after you cook it and it's already cooled off, you can you can actually freeze them. Just warm it up if you want it warm then you just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and and then voila you get your soft mini muffin there you go we are ready for you to the oven to for 25 degrees so we're just gonna wait until it's reach that temperature and then we will put this muffin in it. So we will go in to bake it for eight minutes and then we will adjust the temperature into 350 degrees 
and bake it for another 7 minutes and that's all. watching see you on my next video thank you bye for now